everyone. It's Bob Crossan. I'm the Editorial Director for Waterworld and Wastewater Digest. I'm joined today by Brent Thompson. He's Senior Manager, Analytical Solutions for Badger Meter. Thanks for being here, Brent. We appreciate you taking the Thanks time. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Uh, yeah, and we're here at AWWA ACE in Toronto, and we're talking a little bit about some of your monitoring solutions. Could you um, talk about system monitoring here? How does system monitoring help with these utilities achieve some of their goals? And um, what are the water quality offerings that Badger Meter can kind of combine with those things? Right. So... You know, if you think about what utilities have done historically, um, they, they have really been operating blind when it comes to water quality and distribution. There are very few instruments that would allow utilities to deploy in areas where you know, they, they don't have power, they don't have access to water. Um, so really they're, they're relying on sending a person out to distribution, pulling a grab sample, bringing that data back into their utility, running the sample, and then getting that data. It's all reactive. It's looking at historical data trends. So mm -hmm. giving data in real time, in distribution, in areas where they actually need the data, gives them the ability to really operate and, and make decisions with data in real time when they need it. Yeah, it solves some of the problems of just you know, the, the efficiency problem, right? Right, <laughs> right, right. Well, uh, talk about uh, PipeScan. What is PipeScan? What parameters can it measure? I, I know this is a really important yeah. product for you guys. So this, this is a product that I'm, I'm very excited about. We've, we've worked on for a number of years. Um, it, it actually uses instruments that we've had on the market for a number of years, right? It, it takes the, the, the parameters from the, the eye scan, which is uh, measuring TOC, DOC, turbidity, uh, UV-254, can measure free chlorine, total chlorine, conductivity, pH, or RP, and it puts all these sensors into a, a device that mounts on top of the pipe. Water okay. gets brought up from the pipeline into the flow cell and then re-injects back into the, to the pipeline, so there's zero water loss. Oh, uh, wow. This allows you to mount this in areas where you would have historically not been able to conduct water quality samples because of closed loop systems. It allows you to um, really save uh, water loss with you know all the restrictions of non-revenue water. We have zero water loss with this device. And, and what I think is extremely unique is the ability to measure organics and distribution. So for mm -hmm. situations where you're looking for water security, if you're looking for uh, DVB potential, um, you have the ability to measure TOC, which had historically been uh, a wet chemistry parameter. Right? You mm -hmm. need to monitor uh, TOC with wet chemistry, which you wouldn't do in distribution. Yeah, yeah. Well, and it sounds like you can do this kind of anywhere in a network. Because you talk about, right. like, why is that important? So it allows you to <laughs> really identify critical areas, I yeah. would imagine. Critical areas. Um, it gives you, if you think about why utilities want to monitor and distribution, right, for compliance purposes, mm -hmm. uh, for water security, um, it really helps the utility de-risk the production of water water quality or water and, and sending that water into utilities distribution networks. So it allows okay. utilities to to know that they have good water quality in real time. Mm -hmm. Water quality utilities, they, 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 they produce very, very good water 99% of the time. So it's not necessarily that we're looking to catch issues in the system, right? It's, it's mm -hmm. so that they can always know in real time that the water quality is good. And if customers need to see or have questions on their water quality, they can show that data in real time. Yeah, it's a peace of mind thing, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And for a lot of these utilities, there can be one guy who's doing everything, everything. including the parks and yeah. the roads mm -hmm. and everything. So having that peace of mind, I imagine, is right. really powerful. Right, right. And, and, and again, right, this is, this is giving data in real time rather than having to send somebody out to the utility, mm -hmm. out to the distribution to collect that sample and, and bring that data. And again, it's, it's all retroactive. The data that they're mm -hmm. getting from these grab samples is stuff from that happened two days ago, right? It, yeah. it doesn't let them know what's happening at that moment. Yeah, yeah. So fewer truck runs and all that right. too. So you're saving right. on a lot of different right. things. Well, could you talk about how how does this work within the whole scope of what Badger Meter has from smart water offerings? Because this is just one piece of the giant entire puzzle. It seems like. Yeah. So so Badger Meter had historically been a flow meter company. Right. Uh -huh. um, they they been in business for over a hundred years. Uh, Within the past 10 years, we, we've gone from being a, a company that measure, makes flow meters to a smart water company that uses cellular to send data of different types back into a cloud solution. 
So if you think of, of the pipe scan, right, this is a cellular-based device. So data mm -hmm. that's being acquired in the distribution is being sent back into cloud via cellular, just like their AMI platform. Okay. You can leverage that data along with the flow instrumentation, the, the high-frequency pressure data, and the temperature data that's already being collected, and you can use that for analytics. So one, one use case that I like to say is if you have uh, all these flow meters that are being installed uh, mm -hmm. through Badger Meters' existing portfolio, and you see an increase in turbidity, right, or a mm -hmm. decrease in, in chlorine, and you look downstream where you have uh, a larger number of water, if you look upstream and you, have, you see a pressure loss, you can use all of these different metrics, all these different analytical tools mm -hmm. to say, well, we might have a leak in that area, right? Yeah. So, so you, you don't have to just use one or the other, you use mm -hmm. them all together, and it gives you a greater insight into what your distribution is actually doing. Yeah, awesome. Well, where can people learn more about PipeScan and the other offerings that Badger Meter has? BadgerMeter.com. All right, great. Well, thanks so much. We appreciate your time, Brent. Yes, sir.